In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Spotify, Apple Music, or other music streaming service playlists over into Tidal so you can spin with those songs in Serato DJ. Now, if you still haven't heard, Serato DJ now comes with Tidal baked in. That means you can spin with music coming from the Tidal music streaming service. Now, Tidal isn't the most popular music service out there. You're more likely to be using something like Spotify or Apple Music. And that's why it's handy to be able to transfer those playlists that you've already curated and those services over onto Tidal so you can then spin with them from within Serato DJ. So to do this, you're going to need three things. First up, you're going to need a Tidal subscription. It comes in at $9.99 for the regular subscription or $19.99 for the premium Hi-Fi subscription, which gives you access to high-resolution flax streaming. Next up, you're going to need a copy of the latest version of Serato DJ, whether that's Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite. And finally, and most importantly, you're going to need to sign up to a service called Soundiz. The URL will show up over here. Now, Soundiz acts as the middleman between all of your current streaming services. Maybe it's Spotify, maybe it's Apple Music, or maybe it's even Napster. And then it sits in the middle and and it is able to convert all of the playlists that you currently have in those services over onto Tidal. Now, once you've transferred your playlist over onto Tidal, you can then access them from within Serato DJ and you can spin with those tracks. Now, Tidal doesn't have the largest music library out there, especially not compared to Apple Music or Spotify. And in our experience, there were a handful of songs that didn't make the transition and we had a couple of players with like a few tracks missing. It's not a total deal breaker at all. Your mileage may vary. And if you're curious as to how that works, well, let's try it out right now. Let's go. All right, so this is the Spotify app. And I just want to show you really quickly over here on the left side, these are all of the playlists I've made ever. And uh, we're going to try to transfer three of these from Spotify over onto Tidal using the Sound Is service. So I am going to open up my web browser. And this is the Sound Is dashboard. So just a quick overview over here on the left, you're going to find all of the music streaming services that you can integrate into Sound Is. So you've got Spotify, which I've currently got connected, Tidal as well. You've got Deezer, Apple Music, Google Music, Napster, YouTube, YouTube Music, SoundCloud, Yandex Music. You've got basically all of the available music streaming services over here in Soundis. I think that's awesome. And then you've got my library over here. So currently I've got 139 playlists from both Spotify and Tidal. And over here on the right side of the screen, you're going to find all the playlists that are currently available. And these are sorted according to the service. So what you can see right now are all of my Spotify playlists. And if I keep on scrolling down, you can find all the others that I currently have. And you've got a title over here and also a sound playlist. So let's try transferring one playlist first. I'm going to scroll right back up to the top. And let's say I want to transfer this one, Pop Weekend Must Drop. So click on that. There we go. And yes, the service is Spotify and it's currently got 14 tracks. So now that I've got that selected, I can just click on this button over here, which is the Convert button. There we go. So I can change the title if I want to. I can add a description here. I don't want to do that. I can just click on Save Configuration and move on over to the next step. And this one basically asks me if I want to transfer all of the songs in that playlist. And yes, I do. So just confirm the track list. And then now I get to pick the destination. As I said earlier, I want to transfer this Spotify playlist over onto Tidal so I can spin with them in Serato DJ. So I'm just going to click on Tidal. There we are. Now it's going to start converting. Shouldn't take too long. And yeah, it's done. So conversion success, playlist transferred to Tidal. I'm going to click on Show. And now we've got our playlist from Spotify now appearing in Tidal. So yeah, all the tracks made it. So 14 tracks in there. OK, cool. So let's try transferring another one. Let's go to Playlists and Let's go to this one, JT Special. This is basically a Justin Timberlake themed playlist that I created. So I'm click on that. Let's try converging this. This is more pop music, uh, bigger named artists compared to the playlist earlier. So let's see if all 28 tracks make it over onto Tidal. Click on that, convert, save configuration. Yeah, confirm the track list here and click on Tidal. 
sound is, we'll do the converting. Let's just wait a few seconds. All right, here we are. Conversion success. Playlist transfer to title. Click on show. And yeah, all 28 tracks made it over onto Tidal, meaning all of these songs are available in the Tidal music library, which is super awesome. Now, let's do one last conversion. This time, let's try something a little bit more obscure. How about this one? Electronic avant-garde. So these are like ambient, maybe noise, or like experimental music that is actually it's part of a Spotify playlist. So let's try converting this and see if all 50 tracks, this larger playlist, if all 50 tracks make it over onto Tidal. So I'm gonna click on Convert, Save Configuration. Yes, I want all 50 tracks to be in there as much as possible. And then click on Tidal and let's wait for it to do the conversion. All right, so conversion success. However, we do have an alert here. Playlist transfer to title with errors. So if you click on five errors, ah, so these are the songs that are not available in the Tidal music library, and these won't appear in the Tidal playlist. So let's go back, click on show. So yes, instead of 50 tracks, we only have 45 now. That's all right, it's not a real deal breaker. I still have a huge chunk of the songs in that playlist transferred over onto Tidal. All right, so we've already copied three playlists from Spotify over onto Tidal. Now let's open up Serato DJ and try spinning with those tracks. Right, so if you go to Tidal, yeah, you're gonna find three playlists that we copied. Now I can just drag and drop these songs over onto the player. Yeah, I did say these were more experimental, right? This is the Justin Timberlake playlist. Sounds okay. Yeah. All right, everything sounds good. So that's it for this tutorial. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Tidal doesn't have the largest music library out there. So yes, there were a few songs that didn't make the transition from our Spotify playlists over onto Tidal. But again, it's not a deal breaker and a huge chunk of the songs in those playlists actually made it. So the important thing here is now I can spin with them from within Serato thanks to the new Tidal integration. If you'd like to know more about how Tidal works, Within Serato DJ, we made a separate video review of that. I've got the link to it below this video. I want you to go click on it right now and share it with your DJ friends as well. So that's going to be it for me. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Let us know what you think in the comments, whether you think this is a good way of transferring your music from your existing music streaming services over into Tidal so you can spin with them, or maybe you've got a better workaround that you can share with us. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you next time.